So what is up mga katek shop? For today's video mga katek shop, I have here an Oppo Reno 55 g with an LCD issue and then lately I found out that there's more than issue. According to the customer, it's an LCD issue and a password issue because uh, he forgot the password. I mean it's been a long time since they got this uh, phone repaired so they forgot the password and then I discovered another issue after fixing the LCD so let me show it to you guys so I tested the phone no display but there is a vibration so meaning the, the, the phone is good it's just the LCD that is uh, broken so let's disassemble the phone let's remove the casing I'm just applying heat using a, a heat gun then I found out that the flex cable got ripped off and that's the reason why LC doesn't work so just apply heat so we can remove the first layer of the back cover the next step is to clean up the old glue and the reason is I don't want to uh, work on a dirty environment you know because this glue might um, might touch the, the motherboard uh, it's gonna cause a lot of problem Alright, make sure to clean up all the glues. And then let's remove all the screws that holds the second layer of the back cover. Let's remove the SIM card tray and then start prying the second layer of the back cover so we can access the motherboard and the uh, port for LCD. Alright. back cover is out we'll be using a new LCD to replace the old one and uh, we'll test it first before assembling or attaching it to the main body of the phone So if you're interested on the tools that I've been using on my repairs, just check on the description. I'm going to put all the links for the tools that I've been using on my repairs. And you can also visit my Facebook page, Janburn Tech Shop. Let's go ahead and test the new LCD. Let's detach the battery for safety.
attach the battery again after attaching LCD and then let's test it let's power it on I had to uh, charge the battery first for five minutes because it's totally drained Display is working and touch is working, so this means that we can attach the LCD to the body of the phone. Let's go ahead and assemble it. Let's clean up the edges for the LCD so that the glue will stick properly on the edges and it's gonna hold the LCD then let's apply the glue and I'm using B7000 adhesive glue and just applying enough amount of LCD I mean glue and then I'm just applying tape on the flex or circuit board for LCD and then attach the LCD I'm using rubber band and clamps to hold the LCD and waited an hour enough time to dry up the glue After an hour, I tested the LCD and it seems to be working fine. And then I noticed an issue on the power switch. It doesn't function. And also on the volume down button. So there's a problem with the volume switch and power switch. So I had to replace it with a new switch. I just solder it and uh, that fixed the problem. So I had to disassemble again the phone and then fix the power switch and volume down switch. When removing the volume and power, uh, power flex cable, uh, you'll have to be extra careful because it's kind of fragile and uh, you might cut it off. So we don't want that to happen. So when removing it, just be very careful and use um, appropriate tool to remove it. Here I'm using a special knife to remove uh, the power flex cable and the bullion flex cable.
Now we'll, we'll, we are working on replacing the switches. Just apply liquid solder to speed up the you know the heat <coughs> heat transfer from soldering iron to the switches so I can remove the old switch. Uh, we are ready to replace with a new one. <clears throat> Let's apply a small enough liquid uh, solder and then put the new switch on top and then apply heat on the flex cable. And it's gonna melt the liquid solder. Make sure the switch is aligned properly and uh, once the solder liquefy and then you remove the flex cable away from the soldering iron it's gonna solidify and it's gonna hold the switch and we'll be doing the same process for a volume down uh, switch. Now we are ready to assemble the phone again, put all the pieces back together. Now since the power switch and volume down is working, we are ready to remove the password. I'm using unlock tool up. So first thing that you'll need to do is turn off the phone. Press volume down and power and insert the cable. And then on the unlock tool, click on Infinix and select Reno 5 5G and uh, select erase FRP or factory reset and it's gonna enter to the recovery mode and click on the version double tap and then download as you can see the computer is reading the phone it's applying new um, <clears throat> it's removing the uh, Gmail account so we can proceed with a new setup. Now we can start setting it up. Just click next till you see the menus of the phone and then that's it. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested in this kind of video. 
you might also uh, want to check the description that I uh, that I put um, I put all the links for the tools that I've been using and uh, if you have suggestions you can put all the com all of your uh, suggestions in the comment section all right let's go